Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. The Southeastern men's basketball team continued their five-week road trip as they were on the road at Lubbock, Texas to take on the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. Let's go out to the United Spirit Arena with Dave Armstrong who had the call for ESPN. Texas Tech comes into focus with Billy Gillespie as their new head coach. It's a Jim Yarbrough, he's the seven-year head coach of the Lions. He said, you know, we just still are looking for our, our team to come together. Now there you see Fortenberry on that bench, and uh, they would love to get him back into the action. The Lions are looking to get the ball inside. Right now, that's Bailey way outside. Wow. And well, if he can do that, man, he becomes a dual threat. Uh, you see that knee brace, blew out an ACL at Mississippi State, transferred, still limited in minutes. It's in this game in three minutes first. Lewandowski on that high low. He looks it inside, and there's your man, Jordan Tolbert. Well, he got deep. Well, look at Tolbert's seal. Lewandowski, a three. That's his first three. He threes all year long. It's one of those shots that you better make. Drive to the baseline, good help defensively. Didn't matter though, as Jeremy Campbell gets it to go. Ooh, terrible pass. Here comes Minnis the other way. Oh, he jams it over Bailey. Wow. Oh my goodness, our cameraman. Right into your living room and watch this play. Yeah. Lee. Brand's uh, equipment, his viewfinders met play. I don't think he knows it yet, but yeah, Lewandowski will come out. Crockett with it. Top of the key, nothing but the bottom of the net. Well, just running that high-low offense. Trying to work it inside to Johnson, nothing doing there, and another turnover. Uh -oh. Here comes Minnis again, and he weaves his way through traffic. Deshaun Menace has been a human highlight film here in the first. Now wide open look from the corner in transition. Good basket by the Lions and Populous is able to nail a three. Populous, I was trying to help him out a little. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> look at that Strong. move by Strong. Wow, he's impressive. Shifted to a man-to-man. -man. Interesting. From the short corner, no good. Shot off target by Crockett. Good pass. Oh, nice little dipsy do by Populous. And a timeout by Coach Gillespie. Baseline. Good bounce pass inside. Oh man. Petrovic, he missed something with that he should not have missed, really. Now Crockett. That was a nice move. Petrovic missed a two-foot shot by two feet. Yeah. Three-pointer good by Populist. That's his second three of the night. He had nobody back. That's right. <laughs> he was talking to us today as well. Now, Crockett, that'll be a charge on Crockett. Yeah, that's right. Shot a little bit short, but tipped home by Ross. Well, bad job by Fortenberry of boxing out. Three-pointer, no good. Still time on the clock now. The clock expires. Jordan Tolbert helping to lead the Red Raiders here in the first half with 11 first half points on five of six shooting. So a four point lead for the Red Raiders. And the double, the triple, three. Gives it to Lewandowski. Perfect with one on the shot clock. Boy, nice dive to the basket by Lewandowski. I'm not. That's really. Good by the officials not to call it. How about that? A three-pointer for Nurse, and the Red Raiders have their biggest lead of the game. They have out-rebounded their last three opponents, included in those opponents. Willis. Nice little hesitation. Gave himself even more wide open look. Beautiful poise and composure over him. Thomas Gibson, one of those guys for Kansas State, read that plays below the rim, and as a result, wasn't really highly recruited. Well, he's been great for the Wildcats, along with a guard they got out of Miami and Angel Hernandez. Lewandowski almost losing the handle. Three pointer. Good. Willis. Well, the threes are starting to drop. That's the second one of the rebound. 
Patterson. And he drives in. Nice move by Patterson. It all started with a terrific outlet pass that time by Elgin Bailey. Got that rebound turned in the air. Petrovic looking inside. Backdoor play. Nice move. Good pass from Johnson. A fourth foul on him. A little give and go to Lewandowski, who buries it. A pick and pop. Robert. Into the hustle, though. He can't catch up to that one. Here comes Populous, the transfer from LSU. Good ball movement. And they work it around to their best shooter in Quinn Cooper. Nice, unselfish play by Deshaun Patterson. Points for Willis tonight. You know who should get that assist? Ty Nurse. Yeah. Diving yeah, oh, on the floor, keeping that possession alive. It's to move better when Tolbert's not out there. Lewandowski, nice little ball fake. Well, that was a good up fake by Lewandowski, and he'll have an opportunity from the field where they're going to really kick themselves. Only 52% from the line tonight. Texas Tech doing their part to help them stay alive. Patterson, Ooh, that could have been an and one. And a quick timeout taken by the Lions. Three pointer again launched, and it's good. All of a sudden, the threes are raining home. Todd Nelson able to hit one. The Lions fall to five and six. A good game for Billy Gillespie. Was not pretty. His team learned that they could win a basketball game not playing their best and without their star player. Well, once again, our final score, Texas Tech wins it by the score of 62 to 54. Thanks, Dave, and thanks to ESPN for allowing us to use those highlights. If you have not seen the Lions in action yet, make sure you make it out to the University Center as the Lions return home on January the 10th to face Champion Baptist and January the 14th as the Islanders from Texas A&M Corpus Christi come to Hammond. Football season has been over for six weeks now, but the postseason awards keep coming in as senior center Josh Pitton was recently named to the All-Louisiana team. The senior center started the last 33 games dating back to 2009. Let's check in with Josh as he talks about receiving this honor. Yes, sir. That is a very big honor. Uh, I found out it was a surprise to me. Uh, somebody sent me a message on Facebook, actually, let me know that I had won and I got nominated for uh, the team uh, when I was back home. Just tell us some of the things you've been doing in your off season to get ready for your pro day. Um, let's see, we started a week after the season. We started back working out and uh, we've been with Coach Powell for I think six weeks now, uh, trying to get after and get ready for pro day, trying to get bigger, stronger, faster, all the fun stuff. Another honor for Josh is he also just recently graduated from Southeastern Louisiana University. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the spring sports coming up in 2012 right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. <laughs> 